So let's get right over to Lonnie Quinn with an update on what's happening. Yeah, we'll give it to you right now, gang. Well, look, what we're talking about, wind and rain, and that leads to some flooding out there as well. So we're keeping our eye on places like oh, Broad Channel, Freeport. You know, it hasn't happened yet, but the possibility is still there. Right now outside, the raindrops are on the lens, and it's rain, and there's my windshield wiper, but it is rain for everybody. I cannot find a frozen piece of precipitation anywhere. Even well north, it's, it's not sleet. Or it's just rain and it's coming down heavy in some spots. 54 degrees. The winds. The winds are a story right now. Look at that blowing right in from the south. That gives you a 54 degree temperature reading because that's that's going to heat you up. But a 45 mile per hour gust in the city. 40 Babylon, 29 Greenwich, Connecticut, out to the Hamptons as well. It's all going to be about when this southerly wind shifts and become a westerly wind. Because until then, if you have a southerly wind, you've got to be concerned about flooding and get having that water pushed on shore. So when is that shift going to happen? We think it's going to be around 4 o'clock. This is showing 4.30 in the morning. There's your westerly wind. Still holding on to maybe a little southerly flow out around Montauk. But the winds are coming. And now it's west for everybody as you push into your day on Thursday. But the winds are not at a threshold level to have an advisory issued. But come on. Those are basically, you know, 25 to 35 mile per hour gusts for anybody in our area. It's a blustery day for Thursday. What's happening with rainfall? Well, we've got some little pockets of rain out around the east end, but this line right here looks to be the strongest that we've had in a number of hours. So George is going to track that one for me. It is pushing in the direction of New York City. We get to Patterson around one o'clock in the morning. Newark 133, Jersey City 2:30 in the morning. Maybe New York City around 2:54. And you look out east, like I said, this is where we've had our biggest rainfall totals already over two inches and you're putting more rain down and if this line right here this is the heaviest rain that we've seen anywhere in the area throughout the entire day if that line all those thunderstorms off the Chesapeake if they clip the east end of Long Island I believe they're going to be just to the east but it is going to be close watch how we see it on the future cast here we go stop it at 330 that's that real heavy rain offshore looks like it's just missing us but come on so close you could still be picking up some heavy downpours out there for the east end of Long Island by 7 a.m. you're basically starting to clear the skies out out there I don't see any precipitation problems so 47 is your temperature like around your morning drive it's dropping throughout your day it ends up being a cold one out there with blustery conditions Friday you're 41 Saturday 46 we're back now to the warm weather because by Sunday, again, you're hinting, hinting at almost hitting 50 degrees. Maybe another chance for precipitation next Wednesday, but for New York City, that looks right now like it would be a shower, not a yeah. snow system. Again, it just keeps going on and on and on. Yeah. We didn't pick it. Today was our chance, guys, to get some measurable snow. Nothing. A goose egg. It's like spring, so <laughs> thank you. We've got months for spring, but yeah. Exactly. Thank you, Lonnie.